Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone cares. I'm gonna go walk around. Y'all get one from back here. I don't have enough for y'all. Okay. Y'all get quarters from back here. Okay. We still need six more. I don't think anybody at the whiskey meeting is going to complain that you're pouring too much whiskey. <laughs> Okay. He's got, he has, I think we need two more. All right, to have you. If you're not a member, uh, talk to me after. But, uh, great, good to see you. Everybody, round of applause for Harry. But also, as for nose, what I want you to do 
is put it on your top lip, inhale through your nose, and open your mouth at the same time. Ideally, you're inhaling through your nose and your mouth at the same time. Don't be afraid if you can't, you know, if you can't get it on the first try. I will say it's kind of an acquired thing. But uh, by opening your mouth and inhaling through your nose, it's like a brain trick. It'll kind of let you do it naturally. So whenever it's done correctly, it looks just like that, and it's beautiful every time. <laughs> but all right, you guys. Jumping on in. So our premium American, this is our blended whiskey. It's blended with light and unaged whiskey as well as Canadian and bourbon. It's going to be very, very sweet. Lots of fruity banana notes on this one. Coming in at 80 proof, it is going to be one of the lightest we have of our lineup, but don't let that scare you because while they do get stronger from here, they also get smoother. So this is a great little warm up for you. But yeah, don't feel pressure to take it as a shot if you don't want to. If you want to try a little bit, come back, and then try it all again once we're done. Um, it's up to you guys. Trust me, I've seen tastings done every way you can imagine. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. I'll let y'all try it. Anyone have anything, anybody have anything distinctive that they get off of it? Very sweet. Banana. Sweet. Sweet and banana. Definitely sweet. Mm -hmm. It's going to be almost banana mustard. Mm -hmm. Yes. French crown? With a crown royal. Oh, a crown royal banana. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they got 20 yeah. different flavors. Yeah, crown royal banana. Yeah, it's just like the Texas version. Mm -hmm. uh, very sweet, like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Everyone wave. <laughs> she's, she's photo, she's photographing oh, you yeah, from behind. Uh, <laughs> Is that the camera right there? Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you know we are ready to move on to the next one. Got all the other questions on this one. We're we're walking around to uh, start pouring everybody, but um, are y'all still using the original? Oh, well, not the original original, but have you upgraded your stills? Have you grown even more with larger stills recently? So, yes. So, well, the original pot still that started it all was about 40 gallons. It is about this, this big. <laughs> wow. And it actually sits in our main tasting room. Uh, but the pot still we use nowadays is around 650 gallons. And uh, it produces around 250 gallons of unaged whiskey, whereas the original pot still only produced about 20 gallons of unaged whiskey. So we've definitely upgraded a little bit. And honestly, uh, as soon as we're able to secure a little bit larger facilities, we're probably going to be doing a third upgrade. But for now, we just have the 650 gallon. The um, can you, uh, I, I know this one uh, is a blend and all, but on your grains that y'all do all in-house, is, is that Texas grains? Are you getting them all over? Uh, where can you talk about that? So all of our grains from the main handle, uh, closer to Amarillo. So yeah, everything is made in Texas, the grains, the bottles, everything. Uh -huh. You can, uh, are we on Outlaw now? Yes, okay, they, they are pouring out the Outlaw. You can start uh, discussing it. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right, you guys. So this is our Outlaw bourbon. This is the whole reason why we're getting this tasting and I'm being able to get y'all this tasting because this was our first ever product. This is what has carried us you know, to success throughout these years. 
years. Uh, this is the only 100% Texas corn bourbon in existence. One back in the day. But yeah, so it's 100% corn in the Nashville. Uh, it's going to be very sweet. Lots of things with corn in the Nashville just kind of always provide a lot of sweeter notes to it. Uh, this one has lots of caramels and vanillas in there. It's going to be very, very oily on the finish. This one's going to linger on your palate for a long time. Uh, the minimum age requirement for this one is 18 months. <laughs> this is this is our our go to. If we had to say one was the yellow rose, it would be our alcohol bourbon for sure. This is one of the most popular selling ones too. The first tasting I've ever done. This was my favorite by far. <laughs> Can't beat that corn. <laughs> so. Um, we, we were actually a bit self-discussing. When you first said, um, this is everything, all, um, all the corn, uh, barley, and rye, everything that's in this mash bill is all 100% Texas? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we try to keep it as local as we can, you know. Because I mean, locality is one of the main things behind our entire brand. You know, we were born in Pinehurst, Texas, essentially. We've always kept it within the area. So it's important for us to, you know, even get our grades from Texas. We like to say that we're super local. And heck, even the people that work here, most of us are Texas natives. <laughs> I, I guess a weird fact for everyone, their distiller is even named Houston. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no kidding. Yes. I'm sure y'all are uh, familiar with, like, the counties and everything in Texas, but... Uh, the next one we're going to try in Harris County, he actually named that one, which is, Harris County is Houston, so I always thought that was super funny. <laughs> nice. So your distillery is actually on North Post Oak? So uh, where is the location of this distillery? So we are located on North Post Oak in Houston, yeah. Texas. Oh, wow. Well, right, yeah. They're already talking about how to get there. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we missed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little late. <laughs> so, do y'all have any aromas or flavors or taste you get off this one different? I'm gonna taste it the next one. Oh, we lost our friend. Oh no. We haven't tasted the next oh, one. Oh, oh, she's yeah. back. Sorry. We lost you for a quick second. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got some caramel and uh, I think she said and she said it was hundred percent a corn. Well no, no, it's not hundred percent corn. It's about ninety percent. Oh ninety percent. It's hundred percent Texas. It's hundred percent Texas. 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 We get much more caramel in this one than the last. Yes. I missed this one. Did, did they come around? The outlaw. Did they come around? Yeah. You didn't get it? I did not. Oh, Lindsay, we need a refill. Yeah, I guess I missed. We sure did Missed somehow. Oh, there you go, Seth. I did not get this one. Thank you, sir. No, I got shorted. Appreciate it. This is it. Outlaw. Okay. Okay, so. Prefer first, yeah, prefer I second. Like I, 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 I like oh, the first one a little more. Like oh, okay. That whole banana foster thing. Oh, was, that, that was kind of what did it. I, know, like, Very oh, good. I like banana foster. Uh, so, like hands, just curiosity. Prefer one or prefer if you prefer one. Okay, prefer two. Okay. See, yeah, it, it, you're leaning towards yeah, yeah. The, the the blend. Yeah. Oh. I, will, I will say Lynn is a, it's a typical crowd pleaser. Whenever we do our tastings in-house, it's always the first one that we have to try because it's really the lightest, easiest drink we have. Mm. The alcohol is one of the stronger ones. So that's kind of the biggest you know, difference between them both is the, the blend is always going to be a little bit sweeter, just a little bit easier to drink. So a lot of people typically find it easier to palate because of that. I want it to hit me in the mouth. I want it to hit me in the mouth. Appropriately named. Oh, what's the 46. 46. 46% alcohol, so. No. 
Well, it says the corn is 100% from Texas. Made from one side. Oh. Huh. That, that's a little confusing. Okay. I don't know if it is. It's not all corn, but it's 100%. Well, Texas it could corn. be, though. A lot of them are. Oh, all righty. So we've. Ryan Barr. Okay. I, I was the one that brought it up, too, so I'm, I'm curious. She said about 90%. Corn. It, the, um, I, and we, we get proprietary if you can't say. <laughs> but. Uh, the mash bill, uh, is it 100% corn or is it a blend of a bit of rye and barley uh, with it? So for the outlaw bourbon? Yes, outlaw bourbon. Yes. So that one is 100%. Oh, wow. Oh, this yeah. is. Awesome. So, okay, I just like to say so I'm used to. The most common 100% corn whiskey is, is, is mellow yellow or mellow corn, or it's called mellow yellow. Um, so much nicer, so much nicer than mellow <laughs> corn. Didn't Weller 100% corn? No, 100% wheat. Well, it's, it's, it's a wheat whiskey, but not. Yeah. Okay, we can, next. Like that's like one of the notes that I would make is that I would have like So one of those NKTs was on here for It's just a corn. It was, so there's a difference. Is this is this a corn mash? Yeah. So this one is busy. So that MKT um, it, it is a corn whiskey, but not a corn bourbon because of definition issues. We're starting to walk around on the Harris right now. So, so actually hold uh, hold off a bit talking about it just because of the noise as we're passing around sex. Thank you very much. <laughs> Too many people will miss what we're saying. this <laughs> This has corn rye. Oh, this is the Harris County. The one that's got corn rye. Okay, so you're looking that up. Seth. What was her name? Morgan. Hey, Morgan. Uh, while while we're talking around, um, can you tell us how you personally got involved with Yellow Rose? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. What was your name again? Lindsay. Thank you. So before we get started um, um, with the Harris, since you are the senior bartender, um, what uh, whiskey cocktail do you would you say is the most popular in y'all's place? 
No, we still got you, but now more people are trying to figure out how to get down there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh. I want one of those lemonades. <laughs> yeah. 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 That sounds good. We're, we're open uh, till Tuesday through Saturday. <laughs> it's, uh, not, it's, not the, it's not the most beautiful yeah. place on earth. Yeah. Yeah. It's just money town. We go back. Yeah, I'm still got my money all day. We go back. Just let you know. Get a little more fun now. Plus, we actually give you the full tour, the full experience. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. How we actually make everything in the bottling process and all that stuff. Because we do everything in-house. So, we don't have other bottling or distilling locations. So, everything you see here is quite hands-on. I mean, even when we ship out the cases, we build the boxes, take the boxes. Everything is by hand. Like, it's a really cool process to actually see. This one's smooth. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, but now we're gonna still, can you, the premium that we started with, is it, what is the minimum age on that one? So, being that that one's a blend, while there is a four-year-old bourbon in the, uh, the premium American, it's still have light and unaged bourbon blended in with it. So yeah. technically, even though it has the older spirit, it has to take the age of the youngest spirit in it. So technically, the age would be about one year, even though it does have four-year-old spirit in it as well. Which it aged in it. Okay. It's Texas law. <laughs> it, nope, nope, perfect. Okay, we all have Harris County, and so let's go to that. Perfect, you got it. So this is our most recent addition to our entire lineup. Uh, our Harris County is a high rye bourbon. It's 67% corn, 25% rye, 8% malt and barley. There's going to be a little bit of sweet and spiciness from yeah. the corn and the rye grains coming together on I like this, this one. Uh, we're coming in at 92 proof. It is going to be the similar strength to the outlaw that we just tried, but it's going to be a little more oily on the finish. This one was aged for a little bit longer, so it's going to be it's around 30 months old. Uh, there's going to be a lot of candy cherry, brown spice, tobacco notes in this one. Uh, this is an in-house favorite. Pretty much, you know, me and the other bartenders, even the production crew who makes it, this is what we like to drink at our office. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, very, very nice. I'm with you. And as I was telling you guys, the name, like this it. is the custom recipe of our yeah. Houston. Yeah. Me is the one who made it. First one, sweet, second one was first one was sweet, second one was harsh. <laughs> this is like a... This is, you know, a county with it. Yeah, this has been our most popular seller ever since we released it. I like this. Very good. The way this one, like, it's one of my secret menu cocktails that I actually make with this one is cherry coke. It's essentially an alcoholic cherry coke. It is amazing. It is so amazing. <laughs> You'll have to come see me if you want to try that one out. <laughs> right. like okay, so what does anyone pick out of this one? Definitely that tobacco. Tobacco coming in? Yeah, I get that. Cherry. Cherry tobaccos. Yeah. Because it's always the plant you plant next to each other. Boy, that joke is a little flat. It does linger. It has a good... Mm -hmm. People weren't ready. They, weren't they, ready. they really like the, the aftertaste, the, yeah, the lingering. The lingering taste, yeah, that's nice. I like, I like the spice in this. I like a good rock. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's complex. It's much more... Wood is actually what releases the oil. And so pretty much the older the spirit is, the more of that buttery, oily aftertaste that it's going to have. That's why those 18, 20 year spirits are so smooth. It's because of just the oil from the barrel itself. Wow. Mm. Um, what was the percent of rye in here? Uh, it was 25. 25? That, that we, we like that hit. It's got a great spice uh, yeah. level to it with yeah. that 25%. Oh yeah, yeah. The corn and the rye just kind of 
really balance out each other because, you know, a rabbi has a very distinctive taste, and so too much of it can really drown out all of the other flavors. But by putting that smaller percentage, it kind of allows to have us, you know, allows to have both of the notes from each grain. Um, is the corn right at 70? It's at uh, 67. Oh, sorry, you, you garbled. 67. 67. Oh, okay, 67. Then the rest is right at barley, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Any comments, thoughts? I like this one. It's the best one. I like Okay, so now that we've had all three hands that like three the best oh not that half okay who who's all still number one's their favorite ah okay okay and two okay so actually we're about 50 percent towards harris and then split on the rest I would drink all three. I, I think. I think I, he's saying that there's there's a contextual or situational, like like your mood. Yeah, yeah. Depending on your mood. The way that the grains come together, you know, and the notes that they produce, it's really hard for me to find a bourbon with cherry notes in it. For one, like that, that is a combination that only our head distiller with his secret recipes can come up with. <laughs> So you're old fashioned, what do you use of these three to make it? It comes with a bourbon. Okay. Do y'all do a smoke there in the distillery version? We do, it's really, really good. Um, here would be alcohol, you know, it's an organic alcohol bourbon. It gives it a lot more of that woodsy taste oh, to it. Cool. I do we, get here? Do we know? Um, do we know if the Harris County? No, no one in town has Harris County. I haven't seen it. We're working. We're working. We're, we got notified a little late on which products we have, so I told all of them, and I'll update. They all have. We're we're they're they're upset we can't get the Harris yet here in town. I think it's just so premiums. we're pushing our distributors to bring Harris in. <laughs> Is it just the premium? We're we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I think it's just the premium. Right yeah, I yeah. Sure. Right. Okay, um, San Angelo, Texas is sort of the very center of the state, just to the west. Heartland is the gifts, right? <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we we only have. We only have pinkies and independence. We don't have specs, top wine, or any of those places. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I have the mom and pop shops. There's nothing wrong with that. They have good prices, typically. No. Get something out there. Because we've been expanding as a company anyway. So, I mean, we have a couple brand reps that we've been, you know, sending out to different bars, different liquor stores, pretty much any place where we can oh we will We're, we've actually been pretty productive when we have these tastings each month uh, to push those local mom and pops to get hold of a distributor to find and bring in a couple of cases uh, of stuff to, for us to start trying oh, yeah. we, you know, we'll offer incentives for them and things like that especially you know if they buy cases and then so I I own a brewery here in San Angelo and we're we're always looking for unique whiskey barrels to age beer. Huh. So what you have a program that you're working with breweries or push things? 
And so I have contact with my head distiller. Um, they will either be Houston or Michael, and uh, they will be able to essentially sell your excess barrels. I will say the supply is not that great. The, uh, the, the other breweries and uh, the places that we send our barrels to, we also send our alcohol barrels to Vermont to finish maple syrup in them. And yes, we do make our own maple syrup, and it is Trust me, you guys are Okay, you just got everyone talking. Like that. Uh, with the, Some with the, pancakes. And, and I do know Houston, so I'll get in touch if they, they want to. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> Any other questions? Anyone have any questions? Parting thoughts, inquiries. Um, I only um, 2019 was actually the only time I've ever. Houston's far from us, okay? You know, it's a long drive, uh, but it is a very nice uh, place, and it is one of the. Do you happen to know? I kept thinking y'all were the fourth distillery in Texas. I just I can't remember. Do you know? So I know we are the first legal distillery. Very good. Uh, uh, the first legal. <laughs> so we were the first, uh, essentially the first distillery to get all the right permits and everything that you actually need to start properly distributing and things like that. So that's kind of how we got the term the first legal distillery. Although I think as far as um, just location, just being in Texas or in Houston, I think Garrison Brothers was actually the first. Good. But about time. Hey Morgan, thank you so much, Seth. Do you have any? I, I think uh, this was wonderful, Morgan. I appreciate yes. it greatly. Uh, 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 we we do this once a month, and we love it so greatly that we're able to do these zooms, being out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, to be able to get face-to-face uh, -face, uh, communication, just perfect. So. We have no worries. We like enjoying everything. I hope y'all found some new spirits that you look forward to drinking at home, or you know you want to pick up in the future. But yeah, if y'all ever in the Houston area, don't be a stranger. Come stop on by. As I said, I'm here every day, so I'd love to give y'all the full experience. Let y'all try that maple syrup. Just trust me. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Biscoff cookies. But it's like a, like a roasted, sugary shortbread. It's so good. Y'all have to try it. Mm -hmm. there is one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we really, you can't ship your whiskey to us since we're in Texas, but can you ship the maple syrup to us? I don't see why not. There's no. Uh, okay, I think I should buy it. I'll have for you. <laughs> I'm going to go see it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you so much for your help uh, showing us uh, some more stuff. Uh, everybody give mm -hmm. Morgan a round of applause. Thank you so much. It was wonderful. Have a wonderful evening, um, and I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good night. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers.